Well, hello again, sports fans. This is the latest flight of my Nano Talon, but hopefully not its last. I've replaced the stock flight controller with a big AL unit and probably had half a dozen flights where I've been uh, gradually getting it tuned in. This is the second flight of the day and the thing that's concerning me at the moment is it seems to be losing altitude in return to home mode when it does its uh, circling around the home point. So the main plan for this flight is to test that return to home behaviour. So I seem to have the Nano Talon trimmed out pretty well. I'm launching it in manual mode these days and uh, I just fly it up to a reasonable altitude and then uh, usually slip it into return to home mode while I uh, put my headset on. So around about here I drop the throttle back a little bit and flip the return to home switch and she comes over, heads home and starts circling. So I'm at about 70 metres altitude in return to home mode and the big AL should keep it at that altitude while it does its circling. So that's what I'm focused on at the moment. It's normally very reliable, so if I'm losing altitude, it's, I'm thinking it's because I'm just not giving it enough throttle to maintain the circle. But I'm definitely coming down, so I give it some more throttle. I bump it up to about four and a half amps of current draw, which is almost double what I uh, cruise around on. And she's still coming down. So I think maybe I'm using too much power and uh, decided to cut it back a little bit. But that doesn't work either. So it continues to come down and I'm actually forced to put it back into manual mode and uh, apply some elevator to get over that bloody tree. So I'm a bit bemused by what's going on and I decide I'll fly it a little bit further and uh, put it in return to home again and see if it loses any altitude on the way back or if it's just when it starts to circle that the uh, altitude drops off. So I take it out about uh, 500 metres and uh, climb to about 60 metres before I uh, slip it back into return to home again. And as soon as I do, this happens. I slipped it back into manual mode but it just didn't respond to the controls at all. So my brand new maybe as mini camera didn't capture the last few seconds up before the crash and this is the footage from the flight camera slowed down 10 times. So at this point I'm just levelling off after the climb. There's plenty of voltage in the battery but when I flip the return to home switch the current draw goes from 5 amps down to 0.5 which is effectively zero on my OSD. I switched into manual mode but she never responded. I can see from the OSD that the current came back on but I'm assuming the receiver or the uh, flight controller must have been rebooting. She spirals straight in and uh, even if I did have control I probably wouldn't have had time to do much about it. So I'll review the footage from the DVR and get the GPS coordinates and uh, she's just over half a kilometre away and has had the good manners to land in an open paddock which is a nice change from a patch of blackberry but uh, she wasn't looking very pretty when I got there. I took this footage with the uh, Mobius Mini camera I was using uh, on board and uh, was very happy to see that it was still working after that uh, nose dive into the ground. But as you can see, the uh, old Nano Talon is going to need a shitload of glue to, before it goes back together. So I'm thinking that what happened is a failure of the UBEC to be able to deliver 
power to the uh, servos and the flight controller. I've read quite a few comments about people who have uh, changed out their uh, ESC for a more robust one with uh, greater current delivering capability. And I guess I should have paid more attention. So if she does go back together, I will be installing a better ESC. She'll probably be spending a little bit of time in the naughty corner though. I really uh, haven't even brought myself to look at it yet. Even just looking at this photo makes me cringe.